when Paul and Saul encountered Jesus, the other people in the donkey, they did not know what was happening, but they fell as a result of it. You get that? Yeah. So if my eyes is open and I'm seeing something now, there will be a reaction within the circumference. It doesn't matter. Anybody within there because a portal has been opened. It's a vista, it's a gateway, it's an access point. It will affect everybody within that circumference. And this is the idea of walking under a, an open heavens. That through consecration, yieldedness and alignment, you literally become a walking portal. You are a conduit point. Are we together now? Yes. When that happens to you as a man of God, you become a mysterious blessing. You will carry the power of God. Your assignment is to take the glory to meetings. And the moment you stand there, that portal is opened. Beyond just your preaching and singing, all kinds of spiritual activities are happening. Angels ascending and descending. Anointings and mantles are pouring upon people whilst you are speaking. Hallelujah. You can be affected by another man's spiritual atmosphere. You can be affected by another man's spiritual atmosphere. Spiritual atmospheres are communicable. You can be affected by another man's prayer life. You can be affected by another man's spiritual climate. Men walk with their climates. They carry their climates. Listen, have you ever entered a room and you just sense that they've been gossiping in this room? There's jealousy because these things are an interaction with the realm of the spirit as casual as they sound. And the realm of the spirit has presence components that follow it. Hatred has a presence. Jealousy has a presence. Love has a presence. Power has a presence. Creativity has a presence. It is true. Hallelujah. That is the reason why you can listen to a man and by listening to that man and opening your spirit, his atmosphere can prime your own atmosphere and you will begin to experience what that person is experiencing. It is true. It is true. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hallelujah. You can enter a house where a man through the sacrifice of spiritual exercises has literally opened a portal there and the man may not be around. You can sit alone in the living room and certain interactions in the spirit are happening to you because you came under a portal and open heavens. This is true. So if a man carries his spiritual climate, it can have an effect on you. It's true. Most high, most high, most high, most high, most high, most high. Hallelujah. Now hear me ladies and gentlemen. Those who will be champions in the spirit in this end time are those who will be interested in receiving the gift of sight. The gift of the seen eye. Not the open eye. 
your eye can be open and yet you are blind your eye can be open man of God and yet you are blind there is the miracle of sight blind Bartimeo said that I may receive my sight he didn't say that my eyes be open that I may receive my sight and Jesus said then receive your sight it is a gift you can receive it the ability to see prophetically the ability to see through the mind of your imagination the ability to see to draw insight from scripture the ability to take advantage of dreams and visions and rewrite your destiny how could you fail with these systems of advantage no most high most high most high most high most high most high something is happening to you most high most high ah. Most high, hear me. Can you tell me what the next phase of your destiny is in ministry? If your answer is no, then be ready to pray the prayer we're about to pray now. It is a risk. To walk not knowing God's prophetic blueprint for your future. That would be a blind man. And that would be a risk in life and destiny. You cannot wait for situations and circumstances to define your movement. And it is a risk to guess blindly just based on instincts. You need the gift of sight. To know with certainty what God wants you to do. To know with certainty what the ministry should do. To know with certainty the next phase of your business. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. By the power of the seen eye, the Lord himself spoke to, it was Philip now, and told him join this chariot and when he joined that chariot it was utopian eunuch and that simple obedience brought him salvation because the man was reading and he said please tell me of whom is this is this about himself or another and they began a discussion ladies and gentlemen can i tell you if you do not have the eyes that see your helpers will pass you you will call enemies friends you will call friends enemies if you do not have the eyes that see you will call demonic doors open doors and you will enter them to your destruction if you do not have the eyes that see you can be watching things that will destroy you and enter into it headlong for there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death hear me I can tell you with all humility narrow escapes that have happened in my life and destiny in ministry simply because of the gift of sight meetings I always I almost went that I should not have gone and thank God I did not go associations I almost would have been part of but by the gift of sight many of you right now are in regrets respectfully speaking relationships that were going to destroy you you did not see you called the man an angel until you found out he was a devil you called the woman a queen or a princess until you found out it was something that would destroy you 
and unfortunately i hate to be a bearer of bad news some of you went further and now you have been trapped in painful experiences that only the mercy of god will help you through hallelujah there are people today who made costly mistakes there are certain courses they should have studied in the university but because they did not have the eyes to see their destiny they veered off and invested time and energy only to find out they may never never need it it did not help them in any way and some of you right now god has given you the gift of children but you do not have the eyes to see their future when jacob was about to die he called his sons he said come let me tell you your future one by one they started filing up and he would describe them and bless them describe them and bless them describe them and bless them hallelujah can i tell you as a leader when you have the gift of sight you will know who to put in what unit and who to put in what department i was doing a, a, a teaching in enugu i think it was a week or two about two weeks ago and i was saying leadership is the ability to combine imperfect people to produce a system that works you will never find people perfect people in your life because you are not yourself and yet you will have to make do with those fragile resources both human and monetary but the ability to know by the power of sight that putting this guy in finance department is a risk no matter how the person he has a perpetual weakness with money yet he's a creative person there are people who are very diligent but they have tendencies of disloyalty there are those who are not creative but they are loyal and all this will be sent to you by god it is your ability to see many people have allowed sentiments to make them put the wrong people you put a man who does not have compassion for the sheep as a lead pastor and then the person does not have the time whether they cry he does not care it's not like he's a bad person he's just not a pastor unfortunately the gift of sight and can I tell you when you have the gift of sight you can look at somebody who is stubborn and supposedly wicked today and you will see the greatest gift in your life and when people say can I, how come this gentleman or how come this lady this person should be out of your school or this person should be out of your house and you look at them in the midst of their imperfections because you have seen what their tomorrow looks like you will endure until you build them and they become leaders who do not have the power of sight will throw away some of the greatest gifts in their life some of the most anointed men and women in this ministry by the grace of god if you had seen them when they came they did not look like it but the ability to see the cleaner who is cleaning your house now you will be surprised that that is the person who can die for you even more than your children the person may not be able to speak yes he has tendencies and he's stealing 10 naira 20 naira here but it's just a mindset that was manipulated by spirits the person still has the purity of heart can you look beyond people's actions the sin i will help you to forgive the sin i will help you to know how to tolerate people it gives you the staying power to give people a chance to rise but the sin i will also caution you and tell you this person will remain the same even after 20 years beware now before you cry tomorrow the sin i some of you god warned you about many people years ago but sentiments you were wrapped up with sentiments until they now became a plague to your organization a plague to your life can i tell you one of the greatest gifts in my life is the eyes that see the one you see is not the only one i have you can watch people and as you see people you are seeing things beyond what the eyes you can you can be given access to people's tendencies access to people's weaknesses access to people's limitations not to laugh at and condemn them but to be able to know where to take them and where not to take them how to guide them and how not to guide them 
For me, I will not do what Elisha did. I will not cause leprosy on the person. But I will say, Gehazi, be careful. This is a revelation that you are not ready to receive the mantle. What do we do about this now? Perhaps he would have been called Prophet Gehazi. There are many people today who left destiny helpers they should not have left. Like Lot and made certain mistakes. And if not for the intervention of Abraham, Lot would have died in Sodom and Gomorrah. I know that that uncle may be harsh. That auntie may be harsh. It looks like they always show tribalism and sentiments. But if you have the seeing eye, God will say remain in that house. As, as harsh as that treatment is, that is the greatest university that can make a leader out of you. Running around and looking for comfort to produce a weak person. And in the midst of that pain, it is true that they may accuse you and insult you and call you names. And you want to leave and God says stay there. If you have the eyes that see, one day that harsh man and his harsh wife will call you and say, I don't like you, oh, but God gave us an instruction. He said we should build you a house and empower you to go and when you tell people it was Pharaoh that gave you gold they will not believe it if you were in Egypt and they ask you where will you get gold from you probably will say Canaan sometimes gold will still come from the Egypt that persecuted you the very place of your pain is where your treasure will come from but do you have the grace to stay until you receive it? Or will you hurry out of Egypt and live empty-handed? If they had left Egypt two weeks before the time appointed, they would not go with the gold that they will use to build the tabernacle. Hallelujah. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? There are people today who left Nigeria and as soon as they arrived where they arrived, they knew that their decision was a superior decision because everything showed that their destinies were not here there were others who were blindly copying and they just got up as soon as they left nigeria their destiny helpers got to where they had been walking and they got there where the people were and they were nowhere to be found and some of them with all due respect are living like fugitives in a strange land we are going to take five minutes and i'm going to leave you with your maker you're going to cry lord deliver me from blindness open up my eyes and give me the gift of sight go ahead and pray open up my eyes give me the gift of sight the ability to see the seeing eye the eye that sees the future the eye that redeems the future Dominion over time. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. I, 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 glory be to God. 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 I, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, say glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, glory be to God. Ay, 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 glory be to God. Ay, 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yeah.
hear me hear me in the name of Jesus father what chariot should I be joining in this season what partnerships do I need in this season to break out of and to become part of who is an ally indeed in this season it will not come by physical appearance you will need the ability to see what should I be studying and meditating upon right now what business will produce the next wealthy people in the next five years don't assume the seen eye is the solution Take a minute and pray. You are praying. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to lead you to one more prayer and after that there is a rain that is going to fall and wash off every mud that has covered your eyes there is a river that will flow as the one that came from Siloam and will be washing the eyes of people that they may see indeed now hear me yeah. one time I was praying I think I was in a fast and then I was praying and I've shared it here a number of times my the, the ceiling just disappeared like disappeared like that and all of a sudden I saw a big creature big like as tall as this from here up the eyes alone were like the head like my head imagine two of my head that's the eyes and then the tail was like a snake Imagine another animal joined to another animal. The tail had life of itself. It could detach and live its life independently. You know how you cut a worm and then the parts are, are, are acting. That's how it was. And then he looked at me with fierce anger. And this is what he told me. He said, so you think you can bring the people of God into abundance? That was a conversation. Red, fiery eyes. And after that, the vision disappeared. You think the devil is happy every time you are being transported? You think the devil is happy every time you are being delivered? You think the devil is happy every time you are being saved? Being healed? You think the devil is happy with this information you are receiving? That your life is being changed? You think the devil is happy that now you have been taught not to cry at challenges? In times of famine you should dance and rejoice. You think Satan is happy with that mystery? So imagine how much he would try to come against me let's do something to this man imagine how you would try to come against koinonia let's do something against koinonia who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roar to the lord of lords Listen, when you find out that there is a pattern of pain and tragedy, I want you to know that hell is about to break its back over you. And that is the time to arise. Before the throne 
there is the cross and you must know how to fight your way to victory this is where spiritual laziness has cheated many of us this is where the ministry of prayer has been absent in our lives the ministry of engaging the world for victory too much carelessness and people never rise they die at the cross there they die in the grave and there is no resurrection for them hallelujah when everything in your life goes haywire please hear me i understand that here and there one aspect of your life you may be trusting god but when every area of your life is zero if you have been finding out whether it's the devil i answer your prayer now yes he is yes he is i know his signature everything cannot go wrong at once something is wrong somewhere and so it is important you acknowledge it and then you lock your door and find out what is the mystery of deliverance not what is the mystery of prosperity what why am i not getting a job no job no money no favor no open doors no anointing no breakthrough no helpers you are under attack don't wait until it kills you you finish treating yourself now two weeks later it comes back i guarantee you you are under attack the moment stomach pain is getting healed your eye starts as you are taking the last drug for eye your ear starts all of a sudden you hit your leg you are on your way going to your room that little hit you for two weeks there is no balm that cures it that was not a stone that was more than a stone I remember one day I was praying and I was praying for someone a particular person in this ministry and then when I was praying the Lord led me to pray for that person and immediately I was praying you know how you blow somebody on your back physically like I stand behind you and blow that was what I felt physically when I started praying for the person do you know sincerely speaking I had to kneel down and lay my hands the pain was too much and I knew that person's life was under attack ah! I said my God you have to arise and help this one I laid hands there no praise and worship let me tell you this there are prayers that prevail there are different kinds of tongues there are tongues for warfare it's not the tongues for just edifying your spirit man you do you know it will change believe me it's because you don't pray that's why you will never get there don't speak anything and even you you know it didn't rise the day you lock your door i'm telling you this i'm telling you this you lock your door and say i'm not going out until there is a change i'm blasting tongues the spirit of god you will feel your tongues changing you will know this is warfare prayer you may not know what you are saying your mind is not fruitful but at a point your spirit the anger of your situation is added to your prayer you are not laughing praying nonsense you are thinking of who is calling no you are praying because you know that you are breaking through and at a point joy mm -hmm, one of the signs of the manifestation of the kingdom joy comes to you and for reasons you cannot explain you know that victory has been wrought peace comes to you and he gives you a sign i tell you when you get that sign start dancing no power hear me this is how i live my life when i pray listen let me teach you some hold on please when i pray i don't stop until that joy comes i don't do all this i'm praying for 30 minutes one hour if it is in five minutes the joy comes that's when i stop pray you hold the universe you hold every one of us listen there are people here the moment a man appears in your life those spirits arise the lifespan of that relationship it will not pass two months no matter how vicious you are you thought it was just because you were bad no the best people in your family have gone through the same thing please listen to what i'm telling you i'm giving you keys that will give you victory evil is real hear me 
if you see crowds like this gathered inside and outside by the grace of God, brothers and sisters, victory was commanded in the realm of the spirit. It didn't just happen. You sit down there and allow Satan to keep blackmailing what you represent. Every time you want to bless people, people say, don't trust Benga. I'm still suspecting him. Don't you know there are spirits that plant deception? You blast them out in prayer. Someone wants to marry you. All of a sudden, a stranger arises. She does not know she's under the influence of a demon. This lady did A and B and C last year. No, sir. The moment he wants to bless you, he wants to do business with you. And a night before signing the contract, what million somebody calls him and says, Who did I hear you are doing business with? Be careful. You see that? Let me tell you, there are spirits. I told you life is spiritual. You keep watching things happen in your life, you will never rise beyond some levels. There are some of you, the moment you hold money, finances, everything will go haywire till it finishes. When it finishes, everything dies by itself. It's an attack. It's an attack. There are times some of you have received calls from me even in the night you were sleeping and you just had me call you and i say where are you what are you doing oh apostle i mean this and that and that all right let's pray some of you have, have received calls i just call you I, sometimes i don't even know you you don't ask how i got your phone number i just call you and i say let's pray in the name of jesus a and b i see the numbers in dreams and the lord says call this person there is an attack over their family I just call you and off the phone. You don't even know what happens. Some of you, when the devil is about to buffet you, the Lord uses my face in your dreams. Here he comes, shows up. I tell you, if you see me in your dreams, start dancing. I'm not a harpalist. Believe me, it's a mystery. God used the voice of Eli to speak to Samuel. God uses a grace you honor that represents a ranking that can solve your problem. So when he shows up, he shows up with his covenant of possibilities. It's not Joshua Selman. It's the lamb, the lamb himself, using the face of his servant. Listen, don't mind people who preach nonsense around. Say men of God use charm and habanese to mind. Do it if it's easy to, to make charm. There are men of God I have prayed to command certain miracles in this ministry. And while I went to sleep, certain faces that I respect with respect to the dimension of the desire. Here they come, they walk up. Just like I come to you too. They come and sometimes they just speak a word. Sometimes they lay hands. When you get up, don't just laugh. You get up and receive it. This is where you miss it. You just get up and say, I saw a puzzle. And you are smiling. You missed your miracle. That's the time to dance. Shada Katai. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. Listen. Before this ministry entered a supernatural dimension of prosperity, I remember I was sitting. I'd been praying. I'm practicing this principle, but I knew that it, it's like there was a resistance, a resistance. And that night, I prayed my heart out as I was sleeping. All of a sudden, I was preaching somewhere in Canaan land, and Bishop Oyeriko was sitting down. David Ipiome was sitting down close to him. Two men I respect their voice when it comes to the aspect of kingdom wealth, territorial wealth, and they were watching me just like supervising a student on project. I was standing on the stage. I could not stand very well. It was shaking. And afterwards, I came. And Oedeko asked me to empty everything in my pocket on his feet. When I dropped it, he said, no, there's still some more. I put my hand. I dropped everything. And he laid hands on me. Somebody took me to a room. I opened the room. And I saw dollars. I saw pounds. I saw naira. That was the beginning. When that happened, Koinonia exploded like a charm. There are mysteries. You don't have spiritual intelligence, you will never rise. Never rise. Some of you were this close to your breakthrough, but you did not know what you saw. You thought you had a dream. Only if you dance for 10 minutes, that would have been the end of that problem. But you did not know. Help those under the anointing. You are the universe.
January this year, I was praying and all of a sudden I was caught up in a vision. And then when I was caught up in a vision, the second time I would see Papa Adeboe in an encounter, not a dream, not lying down to dream. The first one, it was a pastor's conference. And then they were serving food in a tray. And I was sitting and he pointed me. He said, come. And then I came, I saw pastors looking at me with anger and envy. And he said, sit down here, let's eat. I said, I can never do this. I've been trained to respect. He said, I said, sit down and let's eat. Two of us sat on the ground and we were eating. When I got up then, January, this one happened like 10 years ago. January this year, when God declared that it's a year of trial, I had that encounter again. He finished doing something and then I came to him and I can't remember what happened. And then he, I, I, have, I have it written down. And he looked at me and said, okay, I'm going to pray for you. And he started praying and he was laying hands and he was singing a song in Yoruba quietly just laid hands on me and he was singing a song and then when he finished singing he says now i open up the gates you know how he's just talking i open up the gates of influence to you walk in it and he told me baba like you tell somebody in yoruba go you can go i've opened the road brothers and sisters this is how this is what we call encounters you don't know it how many encounters have you had and you missed it because if it is not perfected in the realm of the spirit the same way you call somebody and shoot an arrow in the spirit and leave him quietly then in the physical two weeks he's still moving alive but he's dead he doesn't even know he's dead you see him and greet him how are you he's saying two weeks is my birthday and you laugh at him you killed him two weeks ago yet he's still walking and one day anything can kill him because he's already dead anything that's the same way when you are blessed in the spirit anything can prosper you it's not about what you do it's about something that has entered you already you are the universe you are something about the operation of witchcraft there are only three ways witchcraft operates i will be teaching you next week and then i will teach you the last point on how to command victory but someone has learned something tonight you have been wasting breakthroughs you finish koinonia and sleep you finish your prayer and sleep and things happen in the realm of the spirit you get up and you don't permit them to happen in this realm don't you know a man must speak for things to manifest You saw your marriage, but you got up and you were shy. You were embarrassed. And you just laughed and said, ah, don't mock me. I'm not talking about these demonic things where you are moving around, no. Listen, it's not every encounter in the spirit that is demonic. Some things God is telling you, the season has come. Especially when it's, it is emphasized. Two is the number of emphasis. Three is a shorty, is a witness that God has decreed that it should happen. But it never happens. Never happens. Because there is no spiritual intelligence I don't waste opportunities in my life the greatest of my battles are fought in the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit that's what happens you've not commanded victory in the realm of the spirit you are pasting posters everywhere come for my meeting you are just wasting your money for nothing believe me the victory Miracle service is always finished before Friday. Koinonia is always finished before Friday. You don't come and finish Koinonia here. It's risky. Risky. You don't come for miracle service and stand on stage and say, it's time to be healed. Foolishness. That's not, it doesn't happen that way. From the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. Then it was possible for him to be slain physically. If he were not slain in the realm of the spirit, he couldn't be, be, be saved physically. It always happens first in the realm of the spirit. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. I, I feel, I feel, I feel the air of some warfare prayers. We, I, I just sense in my spirit that we need to pray some warfare prayers. 
Listen. In the next five minutes, I know our time is up. But in the next five minutes, I release my faith with you and I want us to pray. We are going to force doors to open. You are not praying to edify your spirit. No. Every pending breakthrough. It has been declared It's my season of trial I have seen it in dreams The Lord has confirmed it I should be blessed I'm not asking I know it It is a season Pray, pray for It's a season of encounter with the anointing. I cannot remain at this level of grace. There is a dimension. I have seen it. He gave me a witness. He gave me a witness. It's my season of breakthrough. It will not happen like before. Now I am intelligent. I will not waste the dream. I will not waste the vision. I now understand. I now discern. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You were the people found. You are the God. You are the God. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You were the people found. You are the God. You are the God. You are the God. You are the God. Every high thing the will of God. You are going to pray and say, Lord, I allow them to manifest. I partner with you now. I've seen it in my dreams. I saw it in the visions of God. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Pray. The visions of wealth. I have seen it. The visions of wealth. I call you for the visions of quickly two more prayer points and we're done the bible says withhold not good from thy brother when it is within thy power to do it say not to him come today come tomorrow god has it now did you hear what i said now i want you to lift your voice and say now break through now break through now break through not next week no not next week 
a good service. Now table. Now table. Now table. Come on, Pazoya. Now anointed. Now anointed. Now pray. for you in the name of 
Jesus. Every vision you have seen that represents what God wants to happen in your life now and was hijacked by any power in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the living God I command the expectation of God for you as revealed to you I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now. Hear me. Any human agent that partnered with darkness to hijack any aspect of your destiny, let the fire of vengeance. You see, we've been praying vengeance here in the last two weeks. Just follow what God is doing. I command it that has stolen anything from your life, from your family and brought you disaster. May the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night. May the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night. Whoever will not let you go must go for you. Whoever will not let your destiny go must go for you. I release vengeance. The fire of vengeance. The fire of vengeance. The fire of vengeance. The fire of vengeance. I decree and declare every power that closed your means of breakthrough in the name of Jesus I declare tonight let there be a warfare in the heavenly we deploy angels we deploy angels the angels of God we declare are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to the earth of salvation angels we release you war a good warfare release destiny release life release favor release breakthrough in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I decree and declare whoever is behind God's schedule for him, God planned that by now there are some realms of anointing you should have entered, some realms of breakthrough. Anyone behind schedule here, I want to push you by prophecy. Don't take a path. Pay attention. There is a grace for speed. I decree it. In the name of Jesus, upon everyone here, behind Shadow, in the name of Jesus, I command you, catch up now, catch up now, financially, catch up now, spiritually, catch up now. Anyone called Barry, anyone the devil has vowed that will not marry, anyone the devil has vowed to always have disappointment, I prophesy again, catch up now, catch up now. Listen, I don't know the chains that held your legs, but in the name of Jesus, by the fire that Elijah commanded from heaven, I decree and declare, may those chains break now. May those chains break now. May those chains break now. I pray for you, this night as you sleep, may my God show you a sign. God is a God of signs. God is a God of signs. My God, show your people signs. Signs of their victory. Signs of their breakthrough. This 
is how to receive your portion anything less than this you are playing games this is how you receive what belongs to you the devil will not give it willingly no whoever is yet to have at least one solid testimony from january 2017 in spite of the fact that god has declared you clap for others hold on i'm not just saying maybe a casual there is no one here who has not seen the faithfulness of god but i'm saying there is nothing striking you cannot honestly say from january 1 till today 10th of march nothing constructive has happened in your life in the name of jesus except i be not sent of god in the name of jesus according to the election of god's mercy and grace i prophesy to you in seven days from today in the name of the lord god who called me i command breakthrough 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 return with testimony praise breakthrough Help that lady. Strange breakthrough. The doors must open. Hear me. Tomorrow, Koinonia will be six by his grace. We're not doing anything online. Leave all those things. Listen. But I want to place a prophecy over tomorrow. Listen. Every time people celebrate birthdays, they reenact what brought the birthday. Correct? If a king is celebrating birthday, he releases prisoners to prove he's a king. I want to place a prophetic word. Malatos Kadabar. I'm not speaking to you by faith. I'm speaking to you by a covenant. By a covenant. I'm not asking you whether you believe me or not. I'm just asking you to listen to me. The Lord that appeared to me the one who revealed to me that I saw a generation crying I saw men languishing the one who gave me his presence as a gift and brought the angel of his presence to walk with me I invoke the covenant of my altar that God cut a breast I invoke the covenant of my altar Oh God arise answer by the covenant I have with you tomorrow 11th March shake the nation change your people in the name of Jesus I place my covenant with God upon your life let there be strange results tomorrow strange results tomorrow strange results tomorrow strange results tomorrow all over hear me all those connected to this grace all those connected to this ministry following online i'm prophesying from 12 midnight tonight until 12 midnight tomorrow i declare it a day of strange miracles strange encounters strange miracles strange restoration strange impartation An unusual release of angels over Zaria. I command it from 12 midnight today. I speak as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. 12 midnight this night. I command unusual angelic activities. Confirming the mandate. Confirming the mantle. Listen. Listen. This is what I want you to do for me. Please listen. This is what I want you to do for me. From 12 midnight tonight, anytime until 12 midnight tomorrow, I want you to pray. Take advantage of this unusual open heavens. I want you to ask whatever it is when you go back. Any long standing case. I want you, this is not by faith. Remember, this is a covenant. 
it is not i'm not just saying you are trying i'm not asking you whether you believe or not just do what i'm asking you to do use this 24 hours and watch something happen to your life that would never have happened i declare it as the word of the lord i place the word of the lord upon this prophecy it must happen to him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. Listen, no sickness survives tomorrow in anyone's body you have never seen me hospitalized you have never seen three put on my hand you have never seen me fail to come for koinonia because i was down i declare no sickness dwells in anyone's body tomorrow hear me whoever will continue to hold your destiny and will not let you go there is just about two hours i declare if they enter tomorrow holding your destiny i stand and i command the earth to take their body i say this in the name of jesus anyone who will not let you go i say it again if they cross 12 midnight this night i command the earth to take their body Lord, take away ignorance from my life. Say it again, take away ignorance. You know, let me tell you something. The little understanding that God has given me about certain kingdom realities, the mysteries of the kingdom, I watch how people break these laws every day and want to succeed and want to do well. I watch pastors break the laws that bring success in ministry. I watch business people break the laws that bring success in business. I watch leaders break the laws that bring uncommon results. I watch people who want the anointing break almost every law that brings it. You see, enlightenment is very powerful. Because when you are moving in darkness, you don't even know. And so you keep trying. This is not working. But I fasted 30 days. I thought at the end of 30 days an angel will appear to me and say from this day I give you a mantle. Receive it. You collect it and, and nothing happens. And yet you see how effortless certain people move in the grace and the power of God as though God owes them his presence and power. You've got to find out. It's not just in saying the power of God is moving. It's not just in saying this and that and that. No. As I passed Lagos Ibadan Expressway today, I saw the predictability of the results of the people. You know, most of those fathers of faith came from the same background. The same background. The Apostolic Church, Aladura, CAC, that background. Regardless of what they have now. So, certain foundational things were functional, regardless of what the ministry is. Crowds, space they caught a revelation of space they don't buy small things they buy kilometers not plots and expand it i've had the privilege to see photos of some of these ministries in some nations that are racist nations yet they give them land it's a grace now they may not have as much revelation as you do but sadly they have more results which do you prefer the end of everything, brothers and sisters, is results. Hearing is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit. Not that you learn about plants, that you bear much fruit. You can learn all you can about plants, but if you cannot bear fruit, you are not glorifying the Father. Your action must be based on light. And that means you must contend for light. Let me tell you how I study. I write out the areas of my life where I have seen some measure of result and I celebrate and thank God 
then I write out the areas in my life where I'm trusting God for results or greater results and then I begin to study from the Word of God and secondly from the life of those who have commendably produced results in that area that's how you get results that's how you get results I'm not going to study somebody who is not working in the anointing if I want to work in the anointing I will love the person I will respect the part the fact that he's part of the body but he has nothing to teach me about the anointing he's not working in his life so I will find somebody who represents the hand of God to the degree to which I desire and humbly study to the degree to which I desire there may be many of them but I must find the one that reflects my expectation then I study follow them the Bible says who through faith and patience obtain not are obtaining they have obtained the promise hallelujah run away from ignorance run away from it start acting blindly don't just act emotionally the moment you panic blood of jesus holy ghost fire honestly holy ghost fire in these demons you are hearing holy ghost you don't know what the fire of the holy ghost does you don't even know whether it exists you don't even know whether the blood of jesus is there and what it should have so you are just praying holy ghost fire holy ghost fire blood of jesus it will never i, I refuse to believe it then you start crying even you you know you didn't believe what you said because at the end you just stop stop praying and say god is this how you leave me May people of confidence arise who know you see when you are walking by light you will not stop regardless of the result because you know the result will show it's like driving right when you are driving somewhere you don't get tired after five minutes and say we've not reached let me park this car you keep moving why because you know you will get there when people start practicing certain things and stop it is because they don't have a revelation that that is the key for every door there is a key you have a bunch of keys in your hands the bible calls them the keys of the kingdom you have to painstakingly find out which one opens which door i can have a bunch of keys in my hands that does not mean the doors will open how many of you have different doors in your homes that have different keys you can see one small and then another one big the keys don't replace themselves you have to know which one there are certain padlocks you open them in a very interesting way there are others you can close your eyes and just shoot it and turn and it opens all in the same house so there are things you can just come and effortlessly solve but there are others you have to look at it with the eyes of the spirit ah this is what i do this is what i do and i get results in the name of jesus christ i pray for you may the days of shadow boxing come to an end in your life efforts that are not done out of knowledge efforts that are not done out of out of accuracy you will begin to be circumspect and every action of yours will start producing strange results in the name of jesus christ let's take two more and then we'll pray is god speaking to you thank you jesus number what number four evil still exists write it down evil the reality of darkness the depravity the existence of wickedness the existence of darkness is a revelation that you must comprehend if you want to walk in victory walk in triumph and have spiritual intelligence listen it is not only weakness it is foolishness to ignore the presence of evil evil still exists first john chapter 5 verse 19 let's turn there write it down and turn there. first john 5 19 Jesus, thank you. Can you play the guitar too for me, Binga? Just follow him and play. God wants to do something in this place. First John five nineteen.
it says and we know that we are of God and then it says apologies for the projection issues I'll just read from here you listen to me carefully and we know that we are of God then it says and the whole world lieth it didn't say receives visitation the world is lying like you say this pulpit is lying on a, a rock a carpet then it says the whole world lieth where the wickedness listen I want to give you spiritual intelligence the condition to be a victim of any attack from the devil is that you are born not that you do anything wrong or right the moment you find yourself on this side of God's kingdom immediately there is a contention every human being on earth is a potential battle axe Satan will not wait till you become one he starts attacking you from bed he knows that everyone born of a woman carries the potential to be used by God are we together yeah. apostle what have I done who did I offend have you heard that that culture driven terminology Kai, this one that demons are against me nothing works in my life I didn't offend anybody you don't have to there is a story that predates your existence listen to the teaching pulling down strongholds and a number of other teachings warfare series I teach there very extensively on the reality of wickedness many of us trivialize it until it attacks you no the Bible says woe to them who are at ease in Zion scripture clearly tells us that this world living is a warfare Living is a warfare. I think it's Dr. Paul Enenche who says that the world is a battlefield, not a playing ground. It's a real battlefield. Just start getting blessed and watch people hate you for doing nothing. You are trying to show you have money. Who did you offend? Nobody. Lie down and sleep and let someone not be able to sleep. He wakes up and is angry. Why are you sleeping? This is the world we live in. You have a neighbor who looks at you and sees you dancing, giving glory to God. And he says, all these arrogant people, I will deal with you. That begins attacks in your life. Please, listen to me. I'm sharing, with, I'm giving you spiritual intelligence. I have factored in my life that every day of my life until Jesus comes, somebody somewhere hates me enough to want to see me dead. Somebody somewhere hates me enough to go only God knows how many people are in a herbal shrine now calling my name while I'm sleeping only God knows how many people are saying let him have a plane crash this year let him have a car accident this year so that all the mouth is making about the word of God so that people will be discouraged the problem is never the enemies the problem is you but to ignore their presence is a joke <laughs> the psalmist listen judas one who was close to jesus used a kiss a kiss is supposed to be a good thing a sign of love but to someone it was a sign destroy him brothers and sisters hear me i don't mean to insult your civilization but i'm sorry to inform you that witchcraft is real say it after me witchcraft it's in everyone's village here everyone is in the city is in Zaria somebody somewhere is looking for blood and they are hoping that your own will be the one they are finding <laughs> you better grow up fast enough to believe what I'm telling you the whole world lieth in wickedness a man goes out in the morning and returns back with a sack letter that was the happiest day of his life but he returned back as so job was minding his business and consultations were happening in the heavenlies and all of a sudden everything began to fail in his life brothers and sisters i can look at a life and know that this life is under attack i have seen marriages under attack 
all of a sudden love dries up between the husband and wife for no reason the man is angry with the wife you ask him many times i counsel them i say sir what exactly did your wife do he said apostle i can't tell you this is exactly what she has done but i'm tired of this woman i have to look for another one then you know that hell is breaking loose madam why do you hate this man i'm tired i've not enjoyed my marriage from the day we've been married for 17 years not one day of joy madam you didn't laugh on your wedding day not one day of joy not one day of joy <laughs> yet you see videos of happy moments when they dance together not one day of joy and she's planning to leave that guy by jesus for sure a man prays for the arrival of a child and have you seen people who look at their children and regret that they were married not because the child did anything from the day this child came our finance doesn't stay again what sort of a child is this i don't need a word of knowledge to know that your life is under attack all i need to know is did you say yes to the lord jesus christ do you mean business about your destiny then your life is a project for darkness how can we make the word of god fail in pastor alpha's life how can we make promise not become that thing how can we frustrate the purposes of god upon benga's life that's the devil for you let me tell you something with satan he's a patient fellow don't take his patience as foolishness he can be patient and wait for 20 years until the ministry expands enough for you to not pray again then he comes just like he said he would and destroy your life are we together there are many of us right now i know your life is under attack by your prayer life i see it you don't need a word of knowledge i know your life is under attack by the bitterness Things you never would conceive before are now at work in you. I see the anger and the resentment. You hate everybody for no cause. It's not you. Peter, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. I look at a man and know his life is under attack. All doors of finance is closed. Then four children become sick in one day. He's coming. The thief cometh not but to steal. You always see his signature. When he comes, he leaves the traces. A family that were once happy, all of a sudden, from nowhere, you will see the lady will just come with one kind of trouble somewhere. The guy will come with one kind of trouble somewhere. The guy will start smoking. He will come and speak to his father and say, from today, I'm a man. You talk to me, I slap you. Just when he's doing that, they sack him from work just when he's doing that something happens his car packs out brothers and sisters it is not a test it is oppression hallelujah all of a sudden mysteriously people start dying within a region have you seen that happens just like in three weeks or one month men fathers of people just go away mothers of people just go away brothers and sisters just go away just like that five people lose their jobs within two weeks in your house don't tell me it's not an attack someone promises you i will give you a job even says complete everything you travel around the last page someone just wants to sign and say what did you say your name is again femi me i said i will help you call this person for me did I say this guy was part of them? You said, sir, we even drank minerals that day. He said, look, I can't remember drinking any minerals. Leave this place. I have seen witchcraft life in the lives of people. I have seen families under attack. No one rises. You rise beyond certain limits. The devil will not stop you. But one day something happens and it crashes you. There are ministries within certain regions that don't reach three years. Zaria is one of those places. The lifespan of any ministerial impact in this city is three years. After three years, a scandal must arise 
or something must arise and destroy you if you survive three years you are truly anointed you see it happen a musician comes into the city they are inviting him to every church they exhaust your grace in two months and dump you they are looking for the next person there is such evil like that there are men of god like that there are seasons where they are relevant for one year two years they are the talk of the town almost every church invites them after that you see them walk upon the street there are names in this nation and around the world i cannot even begin to mention people who were inspirations when you mention them they represented certain dimensions now they are as silent as a dead body wickedness is real evil is real one of us here showed me the picture of his father i think it was last week and i saw the man's legs like half of the leg you could see the bones sorry for painting a graphic picture no flesh it had eaten what happened to the man he was sleeping you know went to bed at night and all of a sudden someone fired an arrow to the leg he saw it and woke up just a slight pain a slight pain started eating up when i saw the picture it was irritating i said this is your father's leg just imagine dividing my leg by half imagine the toes knees you are seeing the bones that's somebody's leg alive today hiv people who receive their hiv not by a bad living but from dreams are you aware do you know when the enemy rises against you do you have the discernment to know or you just sit down and say we are all like that it's just nigeria you know i've shared with you a, a story hi precious saints we are glad you still return back again to this channel we believe over time this platform reflector hub tv has been a massive blessing for your life your family and enlargement your ministry your relationship set on fire for god your heart the bodies of the spirit and your assignments your ministry seeing that it becomes exactly going and moving to the pattern that god have restated for your life and all that concerns you to also ensure that you fulfill the divine purpose and mandate established upon your life by the hand of the lord we would like you to also stay tuned with us as the word of the lord comes through his servants apostle joshua selman even in a time as this please do well to also be encouraged and to also see to it that god's word remains paramount in your life thy word have i hid in my heart that i will not sin against you that's what the psalmist said the word of god is very very precise is very infallible the heavens and the earth will pass away but god said my word will not pass away take hold of the word of the lord like the horns of the altar take hold of it do not let anything make you disbelieve the word of the lord every bit of god's word that you have listened to that you've watched that you've heard has been binding your spirit they can become very productive they can become very very reproductive like a farmer who goes to his farm to sow seeds. the bible says some fell among thorns some fell um, between other things and some fell by the wayside but those that fell in the soil they were fruitful they got germinated and they yielded much fruit so do well to ensure that the word of the Lord stays in your heart. It sets you free from sin. It sets you free from demonic attacks. Delivers you from oppression. And makes your life smooth, balanced. Communicating well with God. On fire for God. And ever glowing and glowing. This is the aim of Reflector Pop TV. And on this platform, we are committed to bringing you the accuracy of God's word. So please do stay well with us. If you're a new viewer, hit the subscribe button to get connected with us and for consistent uploads and for downloads messages like this to you you have to hit the notification bell it will help you to stay in touch with us thank you and god bless you don't forget to share this is one way others too will become partakers of the world which you love god bless you